So Bongo has progressed fairly quickly. So we are going to give him yard time. We feel that he's ready. He approaches us for treats. He knows what treat means. So we'll see how he does. Moby's in there. Oh, Moby just took your toy. What are you gonna do about it? Bongo, the door's open. Come on, Bongo. Moby, <laughs> let go of his nose. <laughs> Moby really likes him. <laughs> Moby's trying to get him to come out. And he's just not sure. It's a good thing that he feels very comfortable in this cage, though, because that makes it all the much easier to get them to go back in their cages um, when playtime is over. So he sees his cage as like home base, as a safe place. So that's really good. It, what Moby is doing is he's just trying to play. He's not trying to hurt Bongo. He really likes Bongo. He goes up to his cage all the time, wakes his tail. You guys going to come out? Come on! First steps on the ground! What do you think? <laughs> Moby's excited to see you out here. <laughs> He's like an annoying child, isn't he, Bongo? Moby isn't even one yet, so he really is. Bongo's a grandpa compared to you. <laughs> hey, so you guys just watched Bongo's first transition into the fox yard. That is a huge step for him. Bongo came such a long way in such a short period of time from being a fur farm fox. Remember, he lived in a fur farm for seven years. He did so well in the fox yard, and we were able to get him back in this enclosure at the end of the day, just like all the other foxes, with no problems, which means our working one-on-one -on -one with him really benefited. So if you guys like seeing Bongo's whole story, being a fur farm fox, rescuing him, bringing him here to save a fox, and watching him being able to go out and feel grass and dirt beneath his feet for the first time in his entire life. If you like what we do here at Save a Fox, please consider making a donation so we can continue to do the work that we do for our rescue foxes. Thank you.